today we're going to have a look at two different approaches to achieving realistic sky blues. Okay, one of my favourite subjects this. Um, skies and trees were pretty much all I wanted to paint when I first started out, but uh, yeah, I held a uh, special place in my heart. I'm going to show you uh, the colour gradient here in the form of four uh, piles of paint as opposed to just the one that you really need to do this exercise um, and that is basically from top to bottom the sky starts off with a, a kind of a violet uh, ultramarine violet tinted into the blue works really nicely we can use French ultramarine then we've got ultramarine blue perfectly normal colour uh, cobalt blue cobalt blue hue in this case uh, and cerulean so those those colours are the sky from top to bottom as it goes from the sort of deeper more uh, violet hues at the top down to the very pale uh, colour at the skyline uh, at the horizon sorry okay so if I just take a little bit of these um, and lay them out you can see that these top two uh, are very very uh, transparent colours um, so that's the ultramarines um, and then below that we have uh, cobalt blue which is a nice translucent colour and we have the cerulean at the bottom or cerulean depending on how you want to pronounce it um, and if we just mix just a, a touch of white through those you'll see that we can very quickly produce a really pigment rich version of what I'm about to do just using ultramarine. Now if you don't have these colours in your box and that's quite likely I suppose if you are uh, you know, just starting out um, no issue with that whatsoever many ways to skin the cat so what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the uh, the other way to get these same colours okay so there we go there's the the sky uh, as it progresses down, just mix a bit more of the cobalt blue in there from the kind of the deeper warmer tones at the top uh, to the uh, washed out horizon colour um, so that's that's the uh, the sort of pure tubes version just blend them one to the next uh, as you come on down the canvas but what we can do, and you've seen this a fair few times now, is we can create um, a colour gradient and then take from that the uh, swatches that we need. I'm just going to switch over to a different palette knife here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a uh, pile of the ultramarine blue here. I'm going to put all of this through. It's a very intense pigment and I'm basically just going to work that away down just drop a little oil into this as well blue through okay we can uh, just keep on repeating that exercise um, until you end up with the intensity of colors that you want it's the same mix all the way down. Ultramarine blue, which is a very, uh, a very common colour uh, to uh, to get in starter sets. Very, very versatile colour. Basically, going up to the uh, the lovely deep colours in the top. So what we can do here with that 
now is pull out some representative colour samples. Often easier to see them in this form. sky right the way down. And as you can see here not a million miles off these colours. Um, cerulean blue can sometimes need a touch of orange in to stop it being quite so turquoise when you uh, put white through it but um, just just uh, greying it out with the uh, complementary colour. I'll just show you that here now just with a tiny little smidge of uh, uh, cadmium orange just to calm that down in fact most tube blues can do with a certain amount of calming down as you go ultramarine's a nice one doesn't need too much but uh, it's worth pointing out that uh, to make sky colours more realistic calming them down from the tube colour isn't a bad way to go. So there we have it. Two different ways of getting realistic sky blues. Uh, one straight from the tube and the other one uh, pre-mixed as a gradient. Uh, you can also mix the blue through a background of white. If you paint your entire canvas white and then just blend the blue in from the top down, that works quite nicely too. Um, if you were working on a sky like this one, I'd recommend that approach. Um, if you were working on heavy clouds where you've just got little bits of blue poking out here and there between the clouds, very different story. In that instance, I'd probably go for the intensity of using the ultramarine, cobalt blue or cerulean, depending on the position in the sky. Anyway, there you go. Um, if that's been useful to you, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Cheers.